All right, here we are again. Let's try and puzzle out how to fall down here and get all the items. Um, locate the items. Okay, so there's one there. Which makes me think we gotta fall off this onto this. And then maybe down in the middle there. Yeah, and then there's another one down there. That's a piece of cake. Let's just not fuck it up. Now, is that attached to that? It's kind of hard to tell, but I think it is. Only one way to find out, I guess. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Not as bad as, uh... Anne Orlando. The freaking rafters. Oh, messenger top hat. That's what that is. Cool. I like top hats. Alright. Oh, I keep forgetting to change their hats. Maybe we should put top hats on this character. What's this say? Don't be fooled. I don't know what that means, but yes. Don't be fooled. Maybe someone tried jumping for it? That would be dumb. Uh, I believe we can just walk off right here. Oop. I almost missed it. Madman's knowledge. Remember rolling. Sure. Um... I believe... I believe you can just walk off this, though. Yep, there we go. Piece of cake. Let's heal. So there's an enemy there. Can't lock onto him, he's too far away. But he's pretty cool. I like him. I'm gonna drop down on this. And woke him up. Let's get over there and fuck him up. Nope. <laughs> wow, that was dumb. Um, as you can see, he's got big curly horns. He has a couple of pyromancy that are kind of nasty. He can throw homing fireballs. They're slightly homing. They're Dark Souls homing. Um, and he has like a combustion wave snake thing. Just big fire cloud in front of him. Um... And he's got a bunch of, like, melee moves. Tons of melee moves. Fucking, he's got kung fu. He actually does some, like, kung fu palm, palm strikes and stuff like that. It's kind of scary. But, uh, really, he's not that big of a deal. And now we're down here. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I love this little back alley. I love all these bottles you can kick around. Well, that one... I don't know what the hell's going on with you. But there's some nasty little tricks in here, like crows right around these items. And there's a dog somewhere up over there. Let's grab this. Uh, I actually also helped confirm this on the wiki, too. The rumpled hats and stuff. That's cool. Dog. Oh, God. He lunged forward a little ways. Alright. Let's do this. Come here. Now, when they get below a certain amount, that's when they become dangerous. Because that's when they do their angry aggro thing. Oh, God. Stop jump attacking. I'm right in front of you. Just, like, punch or kick. There we go. Do they have no eyes? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, now he's dangerous. Ooh, I got it. Yeah, I don't think he has eyes. I think his eyes are kind of, like, just skinned over. Can't quite tell. Ooh, that's the good... That's the good stuff right there. Get the bag off your head. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has eyes. Hang on, let's... Oh, no, he does. They're just incredibly pale and very cataract. Ooh, hey, I didn't know you were there. Didn't expect them to come around that corner so quickly. Alright, well, there's a few more things to kill around here. And I think a couple more items. Don't mind me. I'm just killing your dog. 
dicks. Stop it. He's gonna stab him. There we go. Problem solved. With violence. Uh, and then that's the guy we just talked to a minute ago, so this is just one big round area. Just making sure I kill everything. Got some madman's knowledge, good. Um, elevator is that way. More goodies are down here. I don't know if you can sneak up on this guy. It's another one of these brain-hugging mind flayers. Oh, nope, not quite. Alright, bye. Yeah, don't let them hit you. It's a pain in the ass. And they eat all your fucking... All your insight. Which can, I guess, be a good thing if you don't want to spend it. And you're tired of... Seeing crazy shit. Look at that medallion. I've never noticed that. That's pretty cool. I wonder what that means. Because you know that there's some freaking lore behind it. And we get a fire bloodstone. Uh, when we level this thing up once more, we can put a crescent thing on there. And if I were making an arcane build, which benefits from fire... Um, I could put that on and convert all of its damage into fire rather than physical. Um, still, it's kind of a handy thing to have because some enemies are really, really weak to fire. So having a second weapon that has a little bit of fire damage on it can be useful. Uh, in particular, in Chalice Dungeons, there's these fucking slimes that are annoying. Alright, we're back in the Cathedral Ward, right by the gate, and we got a little bit of extra blood. So, I don't know what else to do. I think that basically wraps up this area. Uh, I'm just gonna kill these guys again. Yeah, you're not nearly as scary as you used to be. Oh, these guys are both coming after me. Hey, hey, I'm looking at that shit. Fuck off. Well, let's kill them real quick. Oh, if you notice, he has eyeballs on his freaking lantern now. Which makes him significantly more dangerous. Because he has spells. And it disappeared, because when he dies, his items disappear. No, stop it. Yeah, now that our weapon's a little bit better, these guys aren't... Like, they're still dangerous, but they don't die in six hits instead of, you know, the three that we're doing now. Whoa. Fuck off, bro. Oh, that was early. No, charge attack, come on. Ooh, I got that. Oh, fuck, and I fucked it up. There you go, now you're dead. Just spam bullets, they'll die eventually. Oh, just single shards. Whatever, those are useful too. Alright. So, we did the whole workshop, top and bottom. Um, we've talked to pretty much everyone. We can go back and level up. Um, the next thing to do would be the church. Oh wait, you know what? I totally forgot what the reason we did the whole shortcut thing earlier. Let's talk to Eileen. And opening that shortcut makes her come here. Oh, look, you can just see those guys wandering around out there. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. Can I just... I must warn you. Not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. And he's my mark. Got a new emote. She's hunting someone down at the at the tomb that we killed um Gascoigne at, which she doesn't want us to go there, which means we're gonna go there. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business there first. <laughs> if we tried going there right now, it actually wouldn't allow us. Like, if we tried um, warping in there through the lamps and the uh, tombstone at uh, the Hunter's Dream, it wouldn't allow us because it's just cut off because she's, I guess, cut it off so you, no one can interfere with her work. But um, if you haven't figured out yet, basically what her job is, is she hunts down um, hunters who have lost their minds, or are possibly turning into beasts. 
so we want to be friends with her because she's got cool gear and I like her uh, what's it called her um, covenant so we're gonna go and see if we can help out with this now, I've never tried going this way I don't know if he'll notice us dropping down but if he doesn't maybe we can get the drop on him I don't know what the fuck that loud noise was, if anyone heard that. I don't know if my mic picked that up. I don't think I can get around behind him. Nope. Hey. Alright, let's get out in the open. I don't want to be fighting. Oh, I thought I was going to get him, but he wasn't attacking. He was just transforming. So you can actually get her. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. She's coming in. Yeah, so there she is. Come on, Island, get in here. Um, if you get to... What the fuck is he doing there? I'll, I'll talk when I'm done fighting this guy. Now, you gotta be careful, because you can hit Eileen here. Oh, God. That nearly killed me. I'll just let her finish him. But yeah, as I was going to say, if you go too close to up by those stairs, you'll pull her into the fight, but maybe going around by the top of the chapel thing was considered too close to the stairs. We've got air here. But, um, yeah. Let's see what she has to say about that. That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. Thank you. You must have killed Gascoigne as well, then. I did. He was falling apart. I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. I want to hunt hunters, too, though. <laughs> and have you seen my hands? They are covered in blood. Another great emote. She gives the best emotes. Try to keep your hands clean. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> She's the coolest old lady. Also, she has really cool daggers. And really cool everything else. I'm still kind of disappointed that the Plague Doctor mask is so simplistic. It's literally just a couple of pieces of stitched together, bent up leather. But, oh well. Um, so we've done that part of the quest for her. The next part isn't going to happen for quite some time. But we got that out of the way, which is what I meant to really do way earlier, a couple episodes ago, probably by now. I don't know how long I've been recording, so that's a thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do. The next thing that I can think of immediately to do is to probably go and kill, um, well, the next boss in the in, you know, the closest area. Um, but I don't know if I care. Not right now. I think I need to go level up and then probably, I don't know, render up these videos because uh, I think I've been recording for a while now. Oh, I got two levels. Um, I'm going to put them in skill, I think, because we're going to need to get some of the extra damage coming in. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. I'm going to go grab a couple more shards that I know of that are um, a little difficult to get, but um, it makes the next boss fight really easy. I'm also going to bring some Molotovs, and I have a ton of poison and a ton of pebbles. Perfect. All right, we're going to go do that real quick, and then we'll call it a wrap. All right, so we're back here. I'm going to show you guys my little run to go get some more, um, oh god, some more twin blood shards. Um, first we're just gonna kill this guy, because, oh, fuck, I needed that, but never mind. Come on. 
I, I like to kill this guy because he's got a decent chance of dropping him. Can I kill him before he angers? Nah, he kind of just hit the buff. Eh, singles, but you know, still useful. So the way I do this, this is a stupid way of doing it. Yep, point at me, that's fine. I'm just gonna run past all these motherfuckers. And we're gonna go up here. Um, I recently just did this on a different character of mine that I'm making. I had to I had to quickly power level a character. Excuse me. You can point at me, that's fine. I had to power level a character because a couple of my friends got the game and they're only level 40-ish. And Nidhogg is level 90 and they want to do some co-op with me. And unfortunately, that's not possible because I'm too high level. So, I had to make a character real quick and figure out what the best option for leveling a couple of uh, weapons up were. And I found... This is a good way to get a bunch of double shards. Now, here's some scary shit. You'll see some blue sparks over there. That's a hunter. You see this guy standing right there with a spear? That's also a hunter. Fighting either and or both of them at the same time is a fucking nightmare. So, uh, we have poison knives, so we could just cheese them out with that. But I'm not particularly worried about it right now. We'll do that another episode. Didn't hear shit, right? So this is how I handle this. The wiki says to kill these guys. I'm gonna argue that that doesn't need to be done. Now the problem here, because I killed the blood-starved beast, this guy, oh god, no, that's not right. Oh man, uppercut. This guy is more dangerous than the fucking hunters, I think. Please just leave me alone. Oh, that backhand. Leave me alone. Stop it. You gonna leave me alone? I think... Oh. He was actually leaving me alone for a second. I was confused. I want to try and get a parry on him, but it's really dangerous when he's doing this stupid fast shit. Oh no, that's the worst. Or the best. Oh, and there's a scurrying beast that I'm not going to be able to get now. See him disappearing? I could have gone for him, but I'm not worried about it. We're going to go this way. He might be out of our hair for good, or he might go around and try and kill us. It's, uh, it's unclear. I've never had him fall off the ledge like that. Normally I can backstab him and kill him. So we're just gonna hope that he forgets about us. Otherwise that'll get real interesting really quick. But down here is where we're going. These guys are really annoying. Thankfully, if you're sneaky, you can just murder them outright. This rock is always a problem. Oh god, I unlocked. Alright, so this just got a little more difficult than it should have been. Now one option is to try and run back up there and kill them quick, but I'm just gonna throw some fucking Molotovs because I knew this shit could have happened. Alright, that's fine. Problems managed. Now these guys are a slight problem. Unless you can parry the fuck out of them. To be more accurate, the second one is more of a problem. Uh, let's get rid of shit we're not using. The second one is a problem because there are two searing beasts right by his feet, practically. And if I go over there, they will run away. So, ideally... I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, I hit him. Come on, I'm over here. Now, he'll probably lose attention halfway. That's what usually happens. Usually he turns around right up around here, but 
Yeah, there he is. Just hit him with another one. Pick this up while I'm waiting. I can't even see the scurrying beasts over there. Come on. I thought that was going to be a parry. Come on, do something. No. Oh, fuck, come on. I ran through him. No, I'm not going to get that in time. There we go. You know what would have been hilarious if the Snatcher came running down while I was fighting him? Kind of got lucky there, I guess. Alright, so, tricky part. Let's see if we can locate them first. I think I see one. There's one there. Where is the other one? Oh, it's right there in the, in the grass. Both of those guys I've had drop twin shards. So, fuck it, we're just going in. Uh, you first. Okay, where's the second one? He's over here. Alright. Twin shards. And... Twin shards. Let's see if that is enough. Ten. I have enough to get this thing up another level. Which means I can get the uh, last thing for it. And some lead elixir, which we don't need. And then this room is... Uh, pretty useless right now. Also be careful checking this door. Some bad shit. Don't get grabbed by that. That uh, swirling black vortex will murder you. You know, I didn't even know that the other scurrying beast was up there. Like, I, I vaguely knew he was in the area, but I didn't know that he was right there. Um, and I don't know why I'm running up here. Partially, I just want to see if the snatcher is still up here. But, um... Oh, yep, there he is. He took some fall damage. Nice. If I go up here, I will have to fight both of those hunters, and I don't feel like doing that. So, I'm going to fuck off back to the uh, the lamp, and from there to the hunter's dream, which is where I'll see you guys. Alright, so now we've got a ton of twin shards, enough to get this thing up. I'm going to fortify it. And yeah, we have ten. We need eight. So this will give us our last gem slot. And it will give us a total of, let's see, 5, 10, 18 damage just right now. Uh, scaling goes up a little bit to a C. Yeah, it's totally worth it. And now we have unlocked the final gem slot. So we have this one, this one, and now we have this one. So see how if I put this in, um, if I put the fire one in, it says, yeah, fire attack up plus 8.4% uh, and health recovers continuously for one every tick. Um, now, you look at my damage, notice how the, the numbers go to nil on physical attack from 133 to nothing to plus zero on the scaling instead of plus 50 and then my fire damage goes to 133 and I gain 14 extra damage I can't tell if that's from my arcane scaling or what but uh yeah if you want a fire weapon that's how that works it uh it works really well for arcane any arcane build can use arcane fire or bolt they all scale off of that, I believe. But we're going to put this on, even though it only gives us 1% right now. The more our scaling goes up, the more that'll go up. Um, I'm actually just kind of curious. What happens if I take off all of our gems? We lose... We lose, like... Goes down to 33 extra scaling damage. And that's just not good. So yeah, we gain like 20-something damage off of that. About about 20 damage. So, that's cool. Uh, anything else I want to do here? I don't really care about damage on this gun. 
I mean, even though it is okay damage, but we're not doing a blood tinge character. And if we were, we'd choose a different gun. Uh, we'll keep the recovery for every two seconds. So yeah, there's that. Uh, if we wanted to pick a second weapon, we would be able to get it up to uh, three, almost four, right now. And I don't know when, but I know these guys will eventually sell shards. Oh, and they sell um, Hendrix gear now because we killed Hendrix. Which is actually some pretty cool gear. Alright, so that's that. I don't think we got anything new here, really. Uh, no. No, not really. Oh. We could do the first chalice dungeon now if we wanted to. Like I said, we have options. We we'll always have options. Um, so next episode, I'm going to say we go kill the, uh, the cathedral area boss. And yeah, how many fire paper do I have? That would be a useful thing to have when fighting this boss. Something I want to check right now. Do I not have any fire paper? Oh no, I got three. I'm gonna go buy a couple more with some insight just in case. But um, but yeah, so we'll go kill that boss. Should be fun. We've done ev oops, everything that we need to do right now. You know what, fuck it, let's just give it a shot right now. I'm very indecisive right now. Like I said, I'm kinda lacking sleep. Yep, let's try it. Probably gonna go poorly. Oh, I should've leveled first, fuck it. Alright, I changed my mind, I'm gonna level. And we're gonna use all of these, cause fuck it. Break all of them. 6,000, good. Uh, let's see how that does for us. We have 30,000 blood echo. What are we gonna level? I kinda just wanna pump a lot of it into, um... This, cause that gives us a chunk of damage. And our physical defense goes up, which is good. I think 25 is the soft cap on this, though. Let me see. Uh, plus 3, plus 2, plus 3, plus 1. Yeah, so 25 is where we'll go with that. Uh, more endurance or more vite? We'll do more vite. That's a good jump. Yeah. All right, so that'll do us for now. Farewell, good hunter. We might get some more decks later, but that's a secondary thing. All right, now back to the freaking cathedral ward. You guys are lucky I added out the loading. Okay, similar, similarly to my last YOLO run, we're just going to sprint past all these motherfuckers. And I'll show you guys where the boss is. That guy can die because I don't want him chasing me. See, this is slightly more risky here because these cross bearers are going to be away. Point at me, please. Yes. Thank you. Those guys are the worst. I have a little cheesing tactic here. These guys... They induce Frenzy, which works like bleed in uh, Dark Souls 1. If your gauge fills up, it does three quarters of your health in one hit. It's fucking ridiculous. I wish there were weapons that would inflict Frenzy, because man, Blood Katanas would be back. Alright, so let me just see here. We are not going to need Pebbles. Um, some people use healing mist because this boss does heal a little bit, but I don't care. Uh, this is very important. And I think that's everything. This could be useful. Yeah, sure. I don't think we're going to use it, but I'll have it just in case, you know, shit goes bad. Alright, so here's the boss. 
think there's... Okay, whatever, we're just gonna go over here. This is one of the coolest intros to a boss ever. God, I, she's so fucking badass. That's fucking cool. Alright, let's get in there. Just fucking her up right away. Let's keep fucking her up. Yeah. There we go. I think EMB would be proud. Okay, let's do this real quick. I like this. I'm going to check out this item that we got from her real quick. Uh, it's a pendant. Uh, you can use it to fortify the weapon. It basically turns into a gem. Um, let's see. Passed down among... Is that Vickers? I can never remember how to pronounce it. It's, it's, a, it's a position of clergy. I don't remember how the fuck to say it. Um, head of the healing church. Yeah. There you go. Alright, then this big fucking crazy skull. It is seething with weird insight. Look at the cosmos coming off of that thing. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No. But you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave.